So this is the Burr Kit Logical Road Builder board game. It essentially has three modes: single player mode, two player competitive mode, and two cards relay mode. अच्छा आप लोगों को दे कांस करे तो आम तो उन से जा या बम से जा yes the car becomes bum. So you can see it has a nice book and a lot of different pieces and kids need to be very very smart and come up with the way. Now there are different color sets that you can use. Red and orange, and then kids can play play a two-player competitive mode. Uh, but the core concept of the game is essentially to make a path, and then you can come up with all sorts of stuff like obstacles, etc. They have given a book so that you know you don't need to think, and you can basically come up with these puzzles for your kids. So let me show you all the parts and how it looks. Okay, so this is the bag where you can eventually store everything once it's open. These are the main boards where you are going to make the path. This is the book with all the puzzles, yeah, with questions right. and answers. Uh, this is the stickers that you are going to stick on the cards. Yeah, I put. And this light blue, dark blue, and this thing are essentially the pieces, and they essentially help with a lot of different. So I'm going to show it to you. And these are the two cards. This is the starting points, and these are the ending points, and the five balls. Uh, um, uh, and these are the tracks. Yeah, Now. Now the first step is once you get it, you need to start putting all of the stickers on this on this cars. So that's what we are going to do next. Very good. Good job. Okay. Okay. First, we have to. Okay. So my daughter is four years old, and to connect the board, you definitely need an adult. It's not not easy. Yeah. And you need to make sure that it presses in completely properly. Otherwise, even if the kids make the track properly, the cars will get stuck. Yeah. So cars, let's say the cars are going here, they would get stuck here, which is why it's very important for a, an adult to help them for this part. Uh, once the kids become like five, six years old, maybe they can do it themselves. But at four years, I definitely found it a little bit more difficult. Now you can see how. Okay, now let me first connect these two here. What is how when I press it properly, it gets connected, and the three. Make sure you are pressing all the connection points. Now that this part is a little bit difficult. What is how what I am doing? I am I am placing it in like this, and now I am putting it like this. Once again, you need to press everywhere to close it. Also, notice that it's very difficult to do it on the carpet, and doing it on the floor is much more easier. But you can see the track is ready. Okay. Next, next comes the part, right? Uh, because my, it's just for my daughter right now. We are going to do a single player mode run. I want to play here. What is the five balls here? Yes. Now, will the papa will decide first? Okay. Okay. Papa will put the first. This is the starting point. Not the starting point should be somewhere there is an open line. Don't put it like this. You can technically put it like this, but if you see the starting point is here and that doesn't make sense. Yeah, but this is what we do. You can also put the starting point diagonally, like this. So I'm going to do it this one diagonally. Yes. Next, you want to put an ending point somewhere. Let's make it here. Okay. Okay. Now you need to, you can choose any car, right? It doesn't have to be red car or orange car. You can choose any car. You can also have a different starting point. It's just for two player games. Imagine the same color helps kids. And this is the car. And this essentially the problem is that if the car were to move, it would fall down. And kids need to move make, and make the path. Now there are a lot of ways to make the path, right? Like imagine if you play place this light blue tile like this, it makes a diagonal part path for everything. But let's say so you can see here. This will help the car move diagonally. Now let's say instead, if you wanted to move, move, make a straight path, then what you do is you just switch it around and make it a diamond shape. Yeah, Now you notice path. it becomes a straight path. Yeah, so if you want a straight path or a diagonal path in any direction, you can use this tiles. Next comes this one. This tiles helps uh, turn. Like a smaller turn. What that means is turning from here to here. This is the way I'm doing it. Now this will allow it to turn from here. Like for example, here. Let's say I want. I don't want it to go straight, but I want it to go like this. With this thing, it was going straight, right? But let's say if I want to turn the car around here, 
then I can use essentially use this. And notice now the car went from diagonal to suddenly in the straight direction. And you can rotate it if you want it to go in the other direction as well. Yes, Viridhi, we will do that. One minute, okay? Now notice this is essentially instead of going straight, now it's going in the other direction. So I just rotated it from here to here and it's going in different direction. Next comes this one. This is almost, uh, I would say, 90 degree turn. Notice this. It is going from here to here, a 90 degree turn. Right? If I do it here, one second, a 90 degree turn. So this helps you make a 90 degree turn. These are for straight lines and this is for like from changing from diagonal to straight. And then you can use all of this for kids to start making the puzzle. My daughter is four years old. She just turned four and I'm going to make this part for her right now. Okay, Vithi, you are going to start now. Can you please make the start? This is the start and the end. Oh, and what? Then Here are all the pieces, okay? Come on. What, what part are you going to use? Come on, tell me. Where we only want to go over there? Come on. Oh, okay. Is it behind me? No. Good job. Now come here. Yeah. Sit here. Yeah, come on. Okay. You can sit here. Come on. Come sit here. Yes. Okay. Now from here, where will you go? But the next one will be caught. He's still there, the one. He's still there. But how do we catch? Say, one cross is missing there. Okay. Just read that. Here. Oh. Come on. You can rotate it. Yeah. You have to rotate stuff, right? Yeah, that's the color. Okay. Yeah. Is that where yeah. you want to go? Yeah. Do you want, huh? Not there. Then why are we going there? But how can we support God? Is it the magic God? Go this way, right? So let's rotate it. Okay? Can you rotate this one for me? God, like this? Rotate, rotate. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Now where is the car going? Can you come up the path? Oh. No, no, come. You can do it from here. You can do it from here. Come on. Use your finger. Yeah. Are we getting close? Now we are getting close, but it has okay. to come very well. Now, now what will we do next? Come on. I want to spin it. Do you want to use this part? Yeah. Can you try this one? Yeah. This is like a diamond shape. Should I just go like this? I'm going to drop one. Oh yeah, this is not a good idea. Okay, do you want to try this one now? Do you want to try this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely better than that. Okay. Yeah, now, what do you want to do? I want to do a turn. What do you use for the turn? Turn to that good turn. Good. Now, make this turn. I want you to make this turn properly. Come on. Okay. Are you sure? No, yes, I'm going here. Yes, very good. Now, can you come up with the path again? Come on. Come on, it's okay. Good. Now what, now what do you want? I want the straight line. What path. do you use for the straight line? You know. Good. Come on. And this is a diamond straight line. Okay. Now let's, it's the time for us to move our cars. Okay. Now here is the point, right? Now this part is a little bit difficult for younger kids. To move the car, you need to basically pull it. And notice how it goes. And for this part, you do need to provide them a little bit of a help. Now I'm putting this here. Now Vitti, we are going to test your road. Hey, tell me what is the name of your road? Vitti Road. Vitti Road, okay. All right. <laughs> Good job. Now let's put the second one. Okay. Okay, let's start from here. All right. My mistake, my mistake to do. Very good. And that's how you continue to play. Now you can make a more complicated one. Like for example, 
Sometimes what I do is I just put something like this and I call that, hey, this is water. And if you go in the water, you will fall. Now we need to come up with a more complicated step. And hey, this to... is fire. Is no, not fire. Right now it's just water. And then sometimes I make it as a fire or a land. And then now, now it's more difficult, right? They cannot use this time. So they need to really think. And this is not it, right? This is just my own rules. But you can essentially have make so many of their own games and rules. Don't notice this here. I notice this is like a very beginner level where there are two pieces, right? Then as you go, you now have some marks where okay, kids cannot use those two. So these are no entry. So now kids need to make a path around it. And so you can essentially make different and more complicated steps for kids. And then it goes to the competitive mode, right? So the way competitive mode works is you can put two different rules here, like red here and orange here like this. Okay, and now the game of the rule is quite simple, right? What the kids need to do is, they can essentially do something like this, where, okay, you can essentially put five balls in each center, okay, and what the kids need to do is, they need to take one, one ball from there, from this side and put it in this one. And the other kid needs to take one ball from here and put it in this one. And both the kids make the tracks at the same time. And whoever makes the tracks first and puts all the balls via the train wins. And that's how you can essentially make a competitive game between two kids. There's so a lot of different options. And then there is a relay mode. Will you come here? Please come this, this side. Where it is almost like a two cars. So the first car goes until red and then the second car takes the takes the ball and takes it from the this part to other. So what that means is what it means is Viti come here please. Okay. So the first car will take the ball and put it inside the red here. So they need to make the track. And then the second car will then take the orange ball and put it from here. So like a relay. Where the first one gives stuff to the second one to continue. And that's how you can make this game. Very, very interesting game and very, very fun for kids. Um, very happy with it. Okay. Viti, can you please say? Viti, what do you say? Viti?